20 for the whole box? Yeah. We'll do that. Bloggy flip. Hi. Hi. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You guys are pretty. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. You're open, right? I am. Oh, okay, this morning. Yes. Yeah. I know it might not look like it. Oh, I was making sure. <laughs> it's, it's a little work in progress. Oh, I'm sure. The first one I've ever done. Oh, really? So. <laughs> Puppy, hey, you're sweetie. You're a sweetie. Let's see, five, is it, I think. Yep, yeah. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, so you so much. much. Have a good day. Uh, you too. Thanks. Have a good day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna buy your guitar from you. Okay. So it's five. It is five dollars. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Morning. when they play they get a lighter shoe they're faster yeah i guess it's to build up their muscles or whatever <laughs> yeah they look good till i picked them up and they weigh 35 pounds <laughs> what do you have on your et mask 50 cents sure all righty well thank you very much all right thank you you need to get them tennis shoes <laughs> i know right and how about the dvd uh a dollar piece okay uh, $2 then. Got okay. that thing too. Okay. Awesome. Not interested in those VHS. <sighs> Man, they're tempting. I have, I have so many I got to get rid of too. It's. Yeah. I understand it. Yeah. Thank All you right. so much. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Good morning. them out oh, okay I got, I got a box of five dollar records back here three um all the eight tracks the, the good rock ones are two bucks a pop um, okay. the new ones are two and all the rest are one okay so like that queen and, and that aerosmith on top two bucks a pop if you're in eight it's eight okay tracks, man, those are pretty good deals. <clears throat> Stuff out. Yeah, it's on uh, he just jamming tapes and it was a portable one, you know, oh. a little portable one and he, he was jamming tapes. Like and, uh, 
I just had, I got an Onkyo uh, brand Integra. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a, I think it's an 89 or something like that, but it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's an AD. It's like a home theater thing. I just got that. I showed the it had it on Craigslist. Uh, Three pieces. No, it was two pieces. We had a picture on Craigslist, and I think there was two uh, brand integrators showing on there. Okay, yeah, that's one I was telling you. No, I have not gone. I found another car in the car. You seen that ad? I spoke that for the Alpha 9. No, I looked through Craigslist. If you can get past the uh, change in the track. Right. <laughs> a lot better sound on Yeah. Than I bought one recently. I, I just need to get it all hooked up so I can check it out. The light turns on. Uh huh. It's set in play. Okay. Cool little display piece, though. <laughs> I have a little stack here. If you want to add it up. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's on me right there. Blue Jet has copyright on cases and Big Sand Sui Pioneer. Count of 32 in, in tapes. Okay. And that. Okay. And that's like uh, the the, eight, the new eight tracks and the and those two bucks a pop. Okay. And everything else is a dollar. Okay. Well, and then that one. 42, 40. What's that? Got blank eight tracks. Uh, well, he looks like he just sn uh, snagged the, the ones I had. Yeah, I found know, three in there. In there I've got a bunch of them. It's 42 dollars. 42. There you go, man. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. You know anybody else that likes the old stuff, man? It's a lost art. I don't know. Send them our way, man. I'm trying to, you know, my, my idea was to, you know, of course, try to get rid of this stuff online or whatever. And just, yeah. I mean, it's such a job, you know, and I, hell, I had a, had a, a store online with about 700 items on it. I just deleted it yesterday just to get out oh, of it. Oh, really? I think we're... Like yeah, eBay or Discogs or something? Discogs. Discogs, yeah. yeah. I've never tried that before. I think I, I, think I got a box or something. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right, thank you. Over in England? Irish. Good morning. Good morning. Are you guys open yet? Not really, but you can look at oh. question Okay. How much you have on the birdhouse? That's ten dollars. It's 10. brand new, and and I, I don't want to tell you what I paid for. Uh, <laughs> too much money, and I was listening, hanging up. But I just thought it was just a clever, it's, unique. I can't take my eyes off of it. I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> when I ordered it, yep. I'm gonna grab this now, and I'll come back around on, at the end. <laughs> awesome. Thanks that's so much. Great. I'm gonna buy your chair here. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. <laughs> a little bit of summer. Water. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to grab your McNugget buddies here. Okay. There you go. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Head north on North King Street toward East Lincoln Street. Good morning. Street.
Some said he didn't want those anymore. So. Oh, okay. 20 for the whole box? Yeah. I'll do that. That, that binder is separated in alphabetical order by team. Oh, uh, okay. So if that helps, I don't know. Cool. Mostly in there, girl. Mostly it's going to be this last year. Okay. Not much older than that. Gotcha. Hey, what's up, buddy? Not much. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good. Right, let me give you 20 for these. Okay. I don't know what's all in there. Yeah, I don't either. He's had it for... He's 15 now. He's probably had it since he was 9 or 10. Oh, really? So maybe younger. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Any interest in selling all the cards? Like, uh, would you have a number there or anything? Um, I could probably come up with one. Just, to cure, just out of curiosity. Take care. Thanks, man. You too. You can just throw a number out there for me. And... Most of those are just commons. Yeah. Just, I mean, you're going to run into some rookies and stuff like that. And they haven't been, they've been kind of sitting in here and haven't been really touched since yeah. they've been in here. 60 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's fair, to be honest with you. I mean, there's no sentimental value or anything yeah. to any of these, so. I'll take a shot, though. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. No problem. I can help. Thanks, buddy. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right, guys. We made it back to the garage. Really eclectic mix of stuff today, but I'm pretty excited about all of it. So real quick, let me show you what I picked up to resell. At one sale, I paid $5 for this Star Wars Wii gun zapper thing. These are probably only worth about 15 or 20 bucks, but I just thought those dogs were so freaking cute that I wanted a reason to put them in the video. So I paid five bucks for it. At another sale, I picked up this guitar. It's a uh, Yamaha C40. It's a classical acoustic guitar. It's got a pretty nice sound to it. It was only five dollars. Uh, these can go for like 50 to 100 bucks on eBay. I actually started my reselling journey buying and selling guitars, so it would definitely need to be more valuable for me to ship something like this, but I'll probably flip it locally for 30 or 40 bucks, maybe 50, we'll see. But definitely a good find for five dollars. And then I paid two dollars for this vinyl chair. It's from 1980. I think the brand is called Capricio. I just really liked the colors of this. I've been passing these up a lot lately just because they're a pain to ship, but there was something about the condition and the colors of this one that I just couldn't leave it behind you know these old vintage vinyl chairs can usually sell for between like 50 and 100 bucks so definitely a good find for two dollars and i just think it's really cool at another sale grab this bag of happy meal toys for one dollar and it was because i saw all these halloween mcnugget buddies in here about the only two types of vintage happy meal toys that i consciously seek out are those old food transformer things from the 80s and the mcnugget buddies this has five complete buddies in it it's missing the vampire. If it did have all six, you'd probably be looking at about 60 or 65 bucks. As it sits, I have them listed for uh, $39.99, and I think that's pretty realistic, 30 to 40 bucks. And then at another sale, I paid $10 for this amazing birdhouse. I did find an active listing on eBay for, I think it was $135. And then I also found it on Amazon available for like 50 or 60. So I'm guessing that the eBay listing is probably drop shipping from Amazon. Realistically with the right keywords, I think. I think it'd be pretty easy to get 30 or 40 out of it, but for that price, I'll probably just keep it because that thing is amazing. And then at this sale, I, I think I paid $2 total. Got a uh, wrestling DVD. I usually buy these and wrestling VHS just to lot up later. It was an old vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! play mat for 50 cents. I just kind of took a shot on this, but I think it's probably only worth about 10 bucks or so. And then I thought this was really cool for 50 cents. It's a uh, vintage E.T. Halloween costume. The costume is in there and there's the mask. It's in really good shape, except the plastic on the box is kind of broken off. But what do you expect? It's from 1982. I think this could probably sell for between like 20 and 30 bucks. But how could you not pick something that cool up for 50 cents? At another sale, a guy had a bunch of really cool like records and, and uh, eight tracks and cassette tapes and stereo equipment. The kind of sale where you, you kind of want to make a bulk offer, but there were a, a few reasons that I didn't. Cassettes were like a buck a piece. Eight tracks were like two bucks a piece. 
Records range from like two to five dollars a piece, I think. And and for that amount of stuff, that's just not a great starting point to try to bulk everything together. So I just kind of tried to use some past knowledge and some guesses to uh, grab some more unique things and and basically hope that I was finding like ten to twenty dollar items with maybe some home runs built in. And I actually did pretty well. I'm pretty proud of myself. I spent forty two bucks total at this sale. Uh, 10 of it came from this 8-track player. It's a Columbia 8-track solid-state car stereo. They said it doesn't work right. It turns on, but it doesn't play. I think if this did work properly, it'd probably be close to a $100 unit. As is, I don't know, but I still think it makes a really cool display piece. And then I did get some 8-tracks. Of, there's Van Halen, Aerosmith Rocks, Queen News of the World. I'll probably keep this one up here next to my Queen News of the World pop that I have. Cat Stevens Buddha and the Chocolate Box sealed in the package. That one should do pretty well because it's, it's never been opened. And then these are all sealed blank eight tracks uh, by Realistic. Got three of those and that should be a $20 to $25 lot, I think. And then there were lots and lots of cool cassettes. Uh, a lot of classic rock, which is what I normally grab, but at a buck a piece, it, it just doesn't necessarily make sense. So like I said, I was I was kind of choosy, but then I found some cool hip hop, like there's Public Enemy and there's Too Short. Those should do pretty well. There's Temple of the Dog. That's a pretty good one. I got the Cure, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. I got the Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit single. The Smiths, Presidents of the United States of America. Boingo Boingo. Descendants Summary. This one I think I just saw a recent comp for like 54 bucks just, just for this one cassette. So this one should pay for everything plus, plus get us into the profit. Always look out for old punk and metal and hip hop and stuff like that because those are, those are the ones that are usually going to sell for a little more in my experience. And then there's a few more interesting things like this rap compilation from Capitol Records and then Skanktified, probably like a ska sampler of some sort, I'm guessing. And then a bunch of Depeche Mode because I think Depeche Mode would lot up pretty well. Definitely not bad. I'm sure I left tons of great stuff behind, but like I said, I was just kind of picking and choosing and I'm happy with what I did find. And then we have the sale with all the cards. None of this stuff will I really be able to talk about value because I really don't know. So I made an offer on everything and he took it for 60 bucks. And the reason I did that was I have zero experience with modern sports cards. Like before I bought all these, I barely even held a modern sports card in my hand. So I kind of bought these to force myself to to look stuff up and try to learn the differences uh, and some nuances. And, and I think this did help. I, I think I did learn a little bit. It seems like there's some decent stuff in here from what I can tell. I think some of these look like they sell pretty well by themselves on eBay. Some of these cracked ice prisms, I think they call them. Uh, I think most of these cards are from like 2020, but there are some older ones like this Marshall Folk rookie card. I found some autograph stuff in here. These ones with the patches in them, I think. And there's probably hundreds of rookie cards in here. And then this binder here is all like separated by teams, you know, for what that's worth. Like I said, no idea. And then the, pretty much the same with the Pokemon cards. I know just enough about Pokemon cards to, to buy them when they're cheap enough, especially if you see a bunch of holograms. And that's kind of what happened. They were 10 cents a piece or 20 bucks for the entire box. And when I first opened them, I saw lots of shiny cards. So I figured that's probably something I should buy. I tried to separate anything shiny and put it in a penny sleeve and a top loader just until I knew what I had. So there's a bunch of what I would guess is bulk. There's some weird pins from the 2014 championship. Some playmat posters, I think, from that same championship. There's a deck of cards from the 2014 world championship. This uh, Charizard actually got me excited for a second, except as you can tell, this is this is about the only card in here that's in bad condition. And that's unfortunate because uh, this card seems like it could be worth a lot of money if it was in good condition. However, I did see a recent sold comp where this card was in worse condition and still sold for 40 bucks plus shipping, I think. So theoretically, this, this could pay for everything a couple times, even in this condition, but we'll see. And then there's another Charizard right there. This one's actually in pretty okay condition. I guess probably no way I can show you everything. But like I said, anything shiny, I put in the top loader just to see. So I'll try to fan some out for you Pokemon experts out there just so you can get a look at them. I think most of this stuff is from like 2014 to 2020 uh, with some various other things mixed in. But I think there were about 150 to 160 cards that I separated. Uh, lots of these like EXs and VMAXs uh, and breaks, EXs. So yeah, tons of stuff like that. Full art trainer type cards. So I'm probably going to just sit down with the TCG app and just kind of scan everything. It's just it's just such a pain in the butt to do. There's some more. There's 
some more. Hopefully you're able to see these okay. Reverse hollows and whatnot. There's a ditto. I, I think that's an older card. Yeah, I don't know. I wish there was an easier way to show you everything. But I think I think it was a good deal for 20 bucks. I don't think I'm gonna get hurt. I think it was I think it's probably an above average deal, especially for 20 bucks. But let me know what you think. I'm really leaning towards just doing an auction for it everything but feel free to let me know what you think especially if you're experienced in pokemon cards if this is a hundred dollar deal that's awesome if this is a two hundred dollar deal that's awesome if it's a fifty dollar deal uh, probably shouldn't have bought it but i really don't know so i know just enough about pokemon cards to get me in trouble honestly at 20 bucks who cares all right so that's all i got for you this time as always i want to thank you so much for watching the video but until next time stay safe stay healthy love ya bye when they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap